able to be competent with cutting tools is one of the key things that will allow you to advance in bushcraft in all areas. Pull really hard. Pull it. Okay, it's going. That is textbook. Ed Stafford has a lot to teach when it comes to the outdoors. Holding the world record for the first person to walk the length of the Amazon, he's done these things for real. Stephen Hanton is a gold mine of bushcraft knowledge. He's an expert tracker, he's a craftsman, he doesn't boast uh, at all, and yet he has a wealth of knowledge. All subjects in bushcraft rely fundamentally on an ability to make and use tools. It's a beautiful straw yellow and that's the bit that's going to be doing the cutting. To have the experience and knowledge to know that you could actually make a knife yourself in the woods, it's liberating. So I need to make a handle for this crooked knife blade that Ed's made. It's absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's bumpy. We're going to look at sharpening a bushcraft knife. Everything you do in bushcraft centres on your ability to use tools well. And one of the skills that's absolutely synonymous with bushcraft is spoon carving. To be able to handle a knife or an axe they're key ingredients to be able to access a world which is utterly liberating. You think there's a spoon in that? <laughs> One or two. One or two. Yeah.